What's going on YouTube? It's Jose from Zavala's Auto Detail and today we're gonna talk about how much do we make in a week and how many cars we do throughout the day. Anyways, before we get into this video, I wanna make sure um, you understand just because I'm making this type of money or I'm making this much, um, doesn't mean that uh, it's gonna be the same for you or for anybody else. You might make more than me, you might make less than me, but don't take it as into, wow, he's getting all that or I should be making all that when in reality, there's levels to everything. Whenever I first started, I wasn't making this much or I was charging way less for my prices or my packages and my prices were way lower. Now, take that into consideration wherever you're at in your business right now, whether you got that experience or you're just barely starting off. Like I said, don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just make sure you're doing you and you're working on your company, making everything, how do I say it? You're trying to make everything better or you're trying to better yourself and your company. But for us, this is how much we make in a week. All right, so starting off, we're gonna do the, well, we did this Ford Explorer plus an engine bay. Um, let's see, let me pull up the calculator. So. Ford Explorer plus engine bay was a full interior and a full, I mean, uh, it was basically our bronze package. So it was 200 plus the engine bay, which was 80 bucks, 280. Then after that, we did, we did three cars in one place, which was this water company. So first off was this Ram, 85. So 280 plus 85, 365. This one was a full bronze, 200 plus 200 plus this other one, same place again, another bronze, which was 200. So right there where we are at 765 and then we did this RV or camper and we charged them 25 per square foot. So 25 times 24, 600 plus the 765, 1,365, then we did this one, which was a Express 85 plus 85. And then we did another 85. We did three cars in this one, plus another 85. So plus 85, plus 85. And then we did a van, like a, like a traveling van that day. Right there, I don't know if you can see it. That one was 100 since it's bigger. Plus, let's see. This other blue Ram, 85. Plus, this Corvette, Stingray. I don't know if you can see it. And on this one, we did like a scuff or a scratch removal on just the front bumper. And I charged them an extra 30. So he got a bra, I mean, he got an Express plus the 30, which was 115, but I think he gave us 120. We did a paint correction on this one, which was a Denali. That was 280. Plus another paint correction on this ramp. And we also polished the wheels. I don't know if it can too. But we did one step paint correction on that one. Another 280. Plus. I believe we did a silver package on this one. Which was a full shampooing plus the one step paint correction on the outside. And that one was 400. And that's how much 
we made for that week, which was last week, 2,885. Not including tips, just because um, it's not gonna, not everybody's gonna tip, and um, tips aren't really, I don't take them as like a profit because I have a certain price and I just go based off of my price. If they tip, it's great, which out of all of these, I think two or three people didn't tip and the people that did tip, they were tipping $50 all the way to $100 plus tipping my employees, which it's kind of crazy, but if people like your work, they'll tip a lot. And on top of that, they'll tip your employees for that hard work that they put. Anyways, that's how much money we make in a week. Um, I don't know, what do y'all think? Should we be making more? Should we be making less? Is it too much? Is it okay? Or do y'all think I should uh, up my prices again? Or keep them how they are and see how it works out? But uh, recently, I just... Uh, Basically, I put my prices a little bit more expensive, like I think 15 to $20 more. And it's been working great. I'm still booked out for a week, week and a half sometimes. And honestly, I think I'm losing customers because I'm being too booked. And I don't know, should I up my prices or keep them like that and then be half work for a week, week and a half ahead? Or should I up my prices and, you know, still make more money, but have less work to do, if that makes sense? Um, I don't know. I like to work. I like to be busy. And I feel like my prices right now are not too expensive and not too cheap. They're like in the perfect price range. Also, guys, just because I'm making this much doesn't mean that you should be making that. If anything, everybody starts somewhere. So as long as you're making money for yourself, to pay the bills, to pay your employees, to pay the products, I feel like you should be good. And if you think my prices are too expensive, I charge now because I have that experience. I have at least two years of experience doing this by myself. And honestly, don't compare your results to mine. Yeah, of course, everybody starts somewhere, but just because I'm already, you know, charging this much doesn't mean you should charge right away or, you know, um, I feel like you should develop your skill set and then charge. Uh, make sure your marketing is up to date, making sure your customer service is up to date. And then on top of that, the icing on top, your work, show your quality, everything. Make sure you, you know, got everything in lined up to be 80 to 100 percent of uh, the best. The best work, your, your work should be at least a 80 to 100 percent good quality good marketing and good customer service and i feel like i'm able to charge those prices just because my marketing is there my customer service is there and on top of that my work is there that being said um make sure you like comment and subscribe comment down below how much you make in a week or are we not making enough are we making just about you know borderline or are we making too little are we not making enough Anyways, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.